the, the image of Cesare Borgia, okay, which is the false image of uh, Yahweh Shah. Right? Them, them thinking that they're Negroes or, or, or Hispanic. Yeah, prop sign, uh, or teaching, prop sign. Our biblical nationality, okay? Now, biblical nationality is Israel, Israelites, not Israeli. That's a made up fucking word. Israeli, Jewish. okay? We're Israelites from our respective tribes, okay? I'm from the tribe of Judah. This brother from the tribe of Aparion, Ephraim. All right? I'm not a so I'm not a Negro, okay? Or, or a black or a black person or African American, okay? I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Is uh, Luke 17 and 8, and will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself and serve me. Till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Does he think that servant, because he did the things that were commanded him, I trow not? So likewise, ye, when ye shall have done all those things which commanded you, say... Yeah, it's our duty, okay? It's yeah. our duty. That's what we're supposed to do. We don't deserve any special, any special fucking treatment because we're out here doing the work, alright? We're doing what, what, what our Lord told us to do. All right, we're doing what, what, what is required of us. All right, this, this is what the spirit of the Lord put in us. It's what is performing our, the operation, the program the Lord put in our, in our mind, in our spirit. It says, Khan, uh, Luke 17 and 10. So likewise, ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We yeah, have you say that, I say that constantly every day. Yeah. I'll say that constantly every day, okay, as I struggle to get the fuck out of bed every morning, okay? We are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Like the scriptures say our righteousness is as, um, as, 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 as filthy rags, okay? Meaning that even though we perform uh, our daily uh, tasks in the Lord, okay, we can never be complete, completely uh, perfect, okay? Meaning we're still going to be, uh, we're still going to sin. Our right? righteousness that, that, shall be as filthy rags. Yeah. Yeah, I just said that, yeah. Oh, okay. That's why we have an advocate with the Father, okay? Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach the righteous. We just read that too. And uh second uh first John second chapter. What? Uh, it's uh Romans chapter eleven. Uh, it's like in Romans chapter twelve. Yeah, America's about to be destroyed. You got that sign? America's about to be destroyed, okay? Yeah, yeah, Martial law is about to be declared, but we never get ourselves right. You know what time it is? Uh Romans chapter 12, verse uh, 11. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. Uh, Say it again. It says, not slothful. Quote the scripture. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 11. Uh, not slothful in business. Not slothful in business, okay? Not slothful. That's... that's what we're occupied there, and that's the work, okay? And you come on out, come on, come on out here. Well, before we come out, what we do throughout the week, okay? Meaning that we're watching uh, the elders, being admonished by the elders, okay? Studying, all right? Keeping our thoughts on that this life that we're in is, is temporal, and that there's, that the Lord is going to deliver us, all right? And the Lord's going to destroy America. All this work's going to put to an put to an end, okay? And then coming out. Props on destruction of America, okay, on the streets. Not being slothful in business, go ahead. Fervent, fervent in spirit. Fervent in the spirit, okay, meaning you're on fire. I mean, diligently believe, okay, the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, and you perform that task on the street. Go ahead. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. Says rejoicing in hope, okay, I, 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 I rejoice in hope. Okay, read that again. Rejoicing in hope. Rejoicing in hope, okay? That our work and our faith, that we're among the, that we pray that we're among the elect, is going to deliver us. Look. Patient in tribulation. Patient. Patience means to suffer, okay? To suffer in sufferings. Look. Continuing instant in prayer. Continuing instant in prayer, man, you gotta learn how to pray. Like Daniel said, he prayed three, to three times a day on his knees. All right, go ahead. Distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. Distributing, okay? 
distributing, okay, meaning to give out the gifts we <laughs> get given out, okay, what brothers need. And what? Given to hospitality. Hospitality, oh, okay. Brother, brother loves yeah. us, yo. But is uh, Luke 6 and 47. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth, yeah, that's that's the that's the, the being uh, like you said, rooted and built up, okay, in the faith. All right, knowing that what what you, what you actually what are you in, okay? And that that does take time. I mean, all right, but if you're around brothers that that are strong, you should be getting strong with the brothers, not weaker and shit. You know. And that's why you are what you eat. If you're eating the right the, the right words, you should be, you should be absorbing that and, and, and performing that. Becoming that, but but he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was yeah, great. Meaning, meaning the foundation wasn't set upon a rock; it was on something that was wavy, okay, that, that wasn't solid, wasn't strong, okay. And, and what? Yet the house fell. The house is you, okay. And ultimately, the Lord going to. Yeah, nightstick to your head, you know? Boot up your ass before the fire burns your ass up. And M14 to your face. Yeah, M16. M16, yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 1. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof if ye can find a man, if, if there be any that ex executed judgment. And that seeketh the truth. Yeah, we're executing judgment right now. We're parting asunder, okay? The the, the, the the commandment, okay? Which is to go out and teach the destruction of Babylon and to raise up the tribes of Israel. Okay, we, we're teaching judgment right now. Yep. Huh? Start it again. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 1. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof. Yeah, we're out here pro prophesying, okay? That we're likening unto Jeremiah. Alright? Yep. I mean, this is an example of the Lord uh, gathering the elect. Okay? So that's the, that's the example of what we're trying to give by reading Jeremiah's words. But seeking the broad places thereof. That's the, hot, that's the, the, the chief place of concourse. Okay? Which I believe we read in uh, Proverbs. I, I got another one. It says, If you can find a, a man, if there be any that executed judgment, that seeketh the truth. Yeah, and, and the, the, to the spirit of the Lord, the, the elders found us. Go ahead. And I will pardon you. Okay, and the Lord, Lord forgave us for our sins, okay? He's read in uh, the second chapter, uh, second chapter, first John, you have an advocate with the Father, okay? So we pray that the Lord is going to uh, deliver us from in this hell, okay? This is uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all? Yeah, meaning we're going to. We're going to we pace ourselves, okay? He said we run all, okay? So we gotta have endurance in this truth, okay? We have to endure, we have to continue. That's really the Greek word is who for men though, okay? It means to endure, be steadfast, you know But one receiveth the prize. So you can't run, you know, sprint, you know, and then, you know, burn yourself out, all right? But you're still running, all right? You didn't slow the fuck down, all right? You didn't stop. If I, if I can say this, in a race it says run all, right? Everyone's racing, everyone's racing for that glory, for that, you know, for that reward, that trophy reward, so to speak. Everyone races, but only one can get that trophy, right? So you gotta, in order to win that, you gotta basically... You gotta be in the truth, okay? Yeah. The race we're running, we're, we're, yeah. we're all in the truth. We're, we're not in some other doctrine. Yep. Huh? But you gotta put, you gotta full heartedly put everything you got to win that race. What? So run that you may obtain. And every man that striveth for masteries, excuse me, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Self-control, discipline. Self, yes. yeah, self-control. Yep. Okay, discipline. All right, that's not going the uh, the point about endurance. Okay, so you, know, you got to be able to control your spirit. Okay, that's why the scriptures say, "He that controls the spirit is better him to take take it the city." Right. Yep. We're, we're, this, uh, real quick, we're all running a race here. You know, we're all pointing. All our, our, our effort in winning this race. 
And that's the equivalent of receiving salvation. Enduring unto the end to receive salvation. You know? So there's only going to be an elect that's going to receive that salvation, receive that reward. But in order to receive that reward, it's likened unto a race that you got to really, you know, put everything you got into it. Heart pounding. You know, I, yeah, did you, I mean, no, speaking from experience, I, I've run, I ran track, I ran like long distance and, you know, when you, when you run long distance, you start getting closer and closer to the finish line, but you start getting more and more feeble. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah you really got to like, and then you, you know, some sort of adrenaline pump. When you see that, when you see that final stretch, yeah, you're gunning. You yeah, you, you really see, then you're really, you know. That, that last little bit, you really ex exhort all energy to hit that finish yeah, line. Yeah, because you, you can see the end. Yeah. Okay? No, you, don't, you don't burn out before the race is over, you know? Yeah. 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 You pace yourself, you go through the race, you know, and then right when you see that finish line, that's when you, you, you know, you bolt. And that's where it's at, man. We see the finish line. The finish line is here, man. America's about ready to be destroyed. So we got to full-heartedly push ourselves, you know? Well, and the breath that's in us, that's the thing that keeps us running, moving. Okay, so we, we ain't going to get tired. You'll keep, you'll keep moving. Right. Says, says, and every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. So fight I, not as one that beateth the air. These are not as uncertain. Okay, so we, we understand we're rooted and grounded, and built up. Okay, so we know what, what the thing that we're in. We know the seriousness of our, of our actions. All right. We, we know that, you know, if we don't do our best to proliferate this word and be honest with ourselves, we know we're, we're going to be found guilty. We're, gonna not, we're, not, we're not going to be fit vessels for the Lord's use. The Lord can just toss us away. I think about that, that all the time. The Lord, he, I'm, I'm not shit. The Lord can just kick me out anytime he wants. So I got to keep my mind straight. All right? What the fuck is Like, like... Jake, Jake is really competitive, man. So, like, it says going in, you don't, you don't go into a fight or go into a race saying, you know, you're going to lose. You can't come in this thing, you know, saying that you, you're not, saying you're not going to be saved because that's having a weak spirit. You come in this thing praying and hoping that you receive salvation. And in doing so, you give it, give it your all. You know, just because that thought that you might not receive salvation, you know, is going to basically dampen your spirit and make you not, you know, not really want to full-heartedly do this. You might, like, when you go in, going into a race, you might think you're not going to win it, but that don't mean you're just going to fucking not try. You're still going to try your hardest, right? That's the same thing with this truth. We don't know what's going to happen at the end of this thing, but we still got to give it our all. Yeah, we don't even know what's going to happen at the end of the camp. Yes, so, exactly. Or, or what's happening, what's going to happen during the camp. You know? So, we got to give it our all no matter what. We could be on our way, like, you know what I mean? On our way down to camp if something happened, which it had. But we still gave it our all. We still made it made it sure that we were gonna to try to make it to camp. And then when we're out on camp, we give it all day. Like on the way down here, down here, you know, yesterday I've seen accidents and shit. Like, oh, yeah. damn, fuck is this I should, yeah. should, I have, should I have started this yeah. this journey? Every every week <laughs> that every week there's a damn accident on on, on uh yeah, it was a 78. Right, yeah, right. on 76 is always a Se fucking seven, three car uh yeah. fucking yeah, don't, don't chain have, reaction. It don't even have to be it don't even have to be it don't even have to be snowing for there to be an accident. But that's why we pray that the Lord's with us. Yeah, you can even be doing everything right. Some yeah. mother, dumb motherfucker might Dumb ass is like cutting in front of fucking truck yeah. semis and shit all close without giving it space. You know? Get we we, we, we even in and out of traffic. Yeah, you going, you know, 70, you know, normal speed. That's, that's you got a motherfucker going 85, 90 and shit past you, you know? Yeah. But, like, you know, speaking from experience from last year, we must have seen at least three cars. I said, well, I seen a motherfucker on 78 flipped over and shit. Yep. I'm looking over like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, we, we got video evidence of that. Yeah, we got, we got Mac, video. Mac trucks. Yeah, we got video flipped footage over. Of, of a Mac truck literally flipped over and all the product from the truck, full product, all just laid out. I see him seeing fucking tires and shit up, like, the, the median kind of high, like, there's fucking tires up there in the top. I mean, like, damn. there was this one time we went to, this was this was after the fact, you know, we had gotten into an accident. and wheels and shit, Will, you know? Yeah, shit, yeah, like, you scared. Know, slush yeah. going doing shit, because... I mean, I, 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 me and this brother, we were actually in, you know, and I, we actually experienced, you know, crashing in the snow, and we didn't know, there could have been a Mack truck behind us to take us out or something, you know, we don't know, and we pray, we, or we, we give thanks to the, yeah, we give thanks to the Lord that, you know, he protected us in that day, so my car got banged up a little bit, you know, it's all fixed and good now, but now we, we have experienced and learned from that, there was a time that we were coming, we were going to come down during the snow last year, it was after the accident, maybe a couple months afterwards, 
and it was snowing real bad, you know, and the brother here at the buck, he said, you know, basically just let's ca cancel camp. We, got, we can't keep making this journey. So, you know, we're on our way back and through the spirit, he tells me to slow down. And the moment I slow down, I'm looking in my rear view mirror and there's a fucking three car pilot that's just right as soon as I look at my rear view mirror, one car spins out, a car smashes into him and a third car smashes into him. Literally, probably like maybe two car lengths away from me. Slow down right at the perfect time, right when he said, yo, slow down, make sure you slow down because the snow started picking up again on our way back because we basically traveled right back through the storm, you know, and Spirit got on him to tell me to slow down and luckily I did because there was a fucking three car pile behind me. You know, and the Lord, the Lord delivered us out of that. Because shit, I, I could have ended up freaking spinning out and then it would have been a four car pile. Of so, this is, uh, verse 26, I therefore so run, and, not as uncertainly. But just, just real quick, that, that don't damper our spirits. That doesn't mean that we don't want to, we're not going to come out no more. No, it makes us yeah, think twice not, about not coming out. Said. It makes us think twice about not coming out. Yeah, yeah it said, not, it said we're not uncertain. We're not uncertain, yep. You understand the thing that we're in, man? Because as, as you know, like I said, mentioned before, as the weather may, as example, you know, expands, you know, we got to contract, you know? Right. So, so not as not uncertain, okay? We understand the thing that we're in, okay? We have the spirit to discern, we have the wisdom to discern good and evil, right? Knowing what the will of the Most High is. Oh, yeah. Because last night, it was, uh, it was okay for a few hours, but it might pushed on and just the roads got fucked up, yep. okay? That, all that water and shit, you know, started to freeze, you know? And a lot of fucking accidents, you look on Google Maps, start to see the fucking red and the... For the, the, the red and the yellow and the green in terms of how slow the traffic going, you start to see red and, uh, and yellows and shit. So, I mean, the traffic was slowing down. This is later, late at night, later at night, pushed on. So, then, so when you're seeing that, you know the roads are just getting fucked up. So it was wise not to travel during that time. We were, we were coming back in this shit, you know. I mean, even the rains are fucking bitch to travel. Pouring down rain. Oh yeah, you, you get blinded and shit. I remember when I was driving the, the bus and shit. I got whited out, you know? With the window wipers, you know, going yep. at full speed. I got whited yeah, out for like like two seconds and shit. That shit's good shit. You gotta be worried about hydroplaning. Yeah, I had, I, I had the, something like that happen to me, man. I didn't know, when I first got my car, I didn't know how to work the, the defrost properly. It was raining and storming. And I was in fucking mid-traffic. The light is green, people are beating me, but I can't see shit on the side in front of me or nothing because everything's all fogging the fuck up. But Spirit literally guided me to pull into a lot. Mind you, I can't see. The visibility was zero. I could have died right there, man. It could have just took me the fuck out. I was able to actually turn off without having any visibility, but the Spirit to guide me and made it to a lot till all that shit cleared up. That shit was crazy. I never expected that to happen. I was just in traffic, driving along, and boom, all that shit just started falling the fuck up. No visibility whatsoever. Spirit of the Lord guided us. Yeah. You know? Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the Lord shall guide you. And that's why we give thanks, we give alms, we give praises. Always. Is uh, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Yeah, so I mentioned earlier, that can't no brother save you. You gotta save yourself. Okay? You gotta do, do what's right. You know, you gotta, you gotta do what's right in your own eyes, okay, according to the spirit. That's the, that's the thing with like a race, man. You know, you can help, in, in this truth, you help a brother out, but racing, you know, you, you, it's basically all about you. You gotta make sure you make it to the finish line. No, no. Well, Psalms first chapter. Yep, I got it. It's uh, Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Yeah, we delight, okay, in performing the works of Yahweh Bashem Yahushat, okay, daily, constantly. Okay, we, we constantly uh, pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahushat to destroy Babylon, okay? And in his law, we do even pray that the, the, the wake us up so we can go, go to hell to work, okay? So we won't get fired from our, our damn jobs. But, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. I mean, if you think upon the scriptures, right? 
And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You think about the, the prophecies. You think about the Lord's return. Returning with the angels and destroying America. You okay, think about uh, the martial law. You think about uh, Esau the, the, uh, declaring, uh, it's like Esau implementing the, uh, the Ark of the Right, which is the Mark of the Beast. Okay? How are we going to behave in, in those days? Okay? We, we put, we totally put our trust in Yahweh Bashim al that he'll justify us in that day and give us spirit to resist it. Think about the thermal nuclear missiles that are being created every day, you know, because that's that's ultimately a prophecy that's going to happen with the destruction of America's thermal nuclear missiles. So every time we hear something about Iran getting closer and closer to thermal nuclear missiles or Russia, you know, they're not a bomb, okay? There's missiles, okay? Yeah. They're going to drop, they're going to fire missiles. Yeah. Literally, okay? like like the scriptures say, arrows, which are thermal nuclear missiles, ICBM missiles. Um, every time we see, you know. North Korea or South Korea doing uh, war drills or military drills. You know, we know that they're getting ready to, to, for World War III to pop up. Verse 3, and you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Yeah, a tree planted by the rivers of water, okay? The living water that, that Yahweh Shah was talking about, okay? That bringeth forth his fruit in a season. Yeah, and we're all, we're all liking on the trees, okay? That bringeth forth his fruit in a season, God. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he do, it shall prosper. That's the symbolist to us being, being prosperous in his word, meaning that we, that we learn the word, we understand the word, and we teach the word. Right? The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. We're like the chaff that the wind driveth away, okay? Meaning that it, it, a leaf withers, okay, and then breaks up and the wind disperses it, okay? And it's not there anymore, okay? It died, all right? They liken that to your, to your, to your spirit, okay? Yeah. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So eventually the Lord is going to get, get rid of you, okay? God, say, uh, Psalms uh, 34, 16. What do you say? Psalms 34, 16. Ah. Yeah, I wasn't paying. Is a saw chapter thirty-four, verse sixteen. 